Hello, Sam Owens here with a uh, product review. Something I just got that I really uh, am going to like a lot for our home. It's a uh, home en entertainment system, a Sony uh, STR DH590. Uh, it's uh, 725 watts, 145 watts uh, per channel, and it's a 5-1 system uh, it's got it can hook five speakers up to it and uh, it'll pretty much handle just about any home needs uh, for a basic surround system with a subwoofer a center speaker and uh, left and right uh, front speakers okay uh, we're gonna go down and uh, review the product here a little bit I've already installed it and that's the best way for you to see it and uh, me to talk about it a little bit. So now I'm gonna focus more on the receiver uh, and entertainment system uh, and the uh, way I have it hooked up. Okay, let's uh, take a look at that. Here's what you have. Uh, this is the um, uh, receiver and uh, it has all the features uh, that you would really need um, uh, to have a nice entertainment system at home that will hook into your TV set and uh, give you audio from all of your devices like uh, your gaming, your, uh, uh, your D DVDs, your satellite, and uh, just about uh, FM radio it has. So uh, let's go down and look at a few things. Power button right here and a phone jack and one of the things i found with this that my other uh, entertainment system uh, was a little different when you plug a headphone jack in there like this it shuts everything everything off all speakers go off you you can't uh listen to a headset and the speakers at the same time so that uh, gave me a little issue that uh, i'll talk about in a moment right here is a transmit place where you can hook this microphone which has a long cable and there's a calibration point in here where you have the speaker input from your seating location that you feed in and the system monitors the feedback when they send a tone so it's a whole calibration system that allows it to fine-tune the sound that you receive uh, in the main area that you're sitting so that's where the calibration is right over here is a mode switch which allows you to go from bluetooth media box gaming satellite TV, all the different selections for devices that you want to feed the sound to your uh, speakers. So that's that. This is your main volume control, which will give you volume uh, to meet your needs that you want to either chill out or really have a party. Okay, uh, one of the things that they talk about in the um, setup is do not put anything on top of this well uh, I thought I could space out a computer and put my computer on there but I saw even though I had it lifted up it got extremely hot and the computer got uh, hot so I would uh, heed their warning and not put anything up there right now it's cool to the touch I mean it's just kind of warm but before with a computer or another device sitting on it uh, it's going to generate too much heat i think and they warn you about it okay uh right here are a whole selection of function buttons all the way from uh turning the speakers on and off same as this did it if i push this shuts all speakers off and it turns it on and going right on down to Bluetooth uh, right here so 
uh, you can even Bluetooth uh, like your computer into this system and whatever sounds or uh, you want to programs that you want to broadcast uh, around you can do so that's a good feature um, to have and uh, it's got so many that uh, I wouldn't be able to go through all of them but uh, I'm going to show you a diagram of uh, how I connected mine up utilizing the uh, devices in the individual bedrooms, kitchen, and garage like VCRs and TVs and I use the cable system which we don't use cable, we use over the air broadcast uh, TV so I didn't need the cable coming in so I use the wiring to deliver my sound from my entertainment system to each of the rooms. Now the two speakers I have up above, the front speakers, they are directly wired into the back. So those are the only speakers uh, that are wired directly in. Uh, I had to also put a switch box in for the speakers. This is going to control the speakers uh, here in the front. This right here, when I push that in, I get the speakers here. So I can control this. Uh, we have speakers that, that I just described through TV sets and VCRs that are on this. So when I have this pushed in, I get all of the rooms in the house get sound and uh, I'm utilizing the cable TV wiring cabling that's throughout the house. So all I got to do is screw into the wall plug for the cable and I have a modulator uh, RF converter right here that takes a video feeding into this along with the sound coming from the uh, uh, entertainment system and so the video allows the sound to be multiplexed in and so I get uh, the sound coming out of the re receiver through my TVs and the VCR with uh, little speakers on them. So it does a great job and uh, I'll take you around and let you see one with the sound just going to the rooms and I've got the speaker off in the front. That's the way we want it sometimes. So you may want to look at a speaker control box uh, to feed the speakers the way you want because you don't have an A and a B switch like a lot of times you have so you can't control the speakers on this which uh, is something I wanted. These are not very expensive and uh, it works great. Easy to wire. All right, let's go look at one of the setups I was talking about with uh, feeding the video and audio to a uh, TV in our kitchen. Okay, as I was telling you, the uh, picture you're seeing is from my DVD player, and uh, it's providing the, the RF signal that I need to drive the converter to allow the sound to pass through. So I'm getting the sound from the, uh, the entertainment system uh, that we're playing music from our computer. Uh, right here is coming through the wall plug right there, which is the cable output. And uh, so that's the way it works. And each room has this. Here's the um, VCR in the office area. It's receiving the signal uh, through the uh, cable uh, and delivering it through another cable to our speakers over here and those are power speakers and they amplify the sound in here and it uh, there's the other one over on the floor and it gives us the nice uh, sound we want throughout the day and uh, it does a great job for us this is the remote control you get and uh, it also has a uh, HDMI cable that goes from the uh, 
entertainment system up to the TV. So when you select TV, it turns the TV on and gives you a menu asking which one of these do you want to select. So it's a menu driven thing that really helps you to connect everything up. So it's really great. Uh, you have Bluetooth pairing, like I say, that if you have a some sort of a uh, music player or your computer or an iPhone, a tablet, you can pair this with, uh, with it and uh, listen to the sound through your speakers. Uh, the FM radio, you can have some tuning and you have some presets. You have about 30 presets that you can go through and set up the uh, FM. Uh, it gives you an antenna there that really picks up quite a bit of um, our channels around here, our stations. So if I want to watch or listen to FM, I can simply <clears throat> select FM. And I have to have it out here. And there's the uh, sound. Speakers, I can adjust them up. Ages 18 to 60. What was that about toxic masculinity? Okay, again? so I can turn it down. Toxic I have presets. Okay, president giving a talk. So I'm going to go back to our sound uh, from the computer. And there's our music. And turn it down. But I'm going to take this off since I'm talking to you now. That is a really nice system. The cost is uh, really uh, great for the power and uh, the features you get out of this. Now, <clears throat> most houses, instead of doing what I did, would run wires uh, to each of the speakers in the uh, room. It's a lot of work. This didn't cost me any work. Every room has a device, so it worked well. I'm going to introduce my uh, design of my system uh, to give you an idea that you may be able to want to try uh, with uh, the devices you have, and uh, it may work for you. So the other way is to run wires uh, to each of the speakers in your house, and that'll work fine. Okay, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, I think you'll like this unit. I do.